Hi, everybody. Uh, just about 3 o'clock on a Monday. Hope you're having a good day. I thought I'd start with what's happening right now. I'm using my weather site, uh, portlandweather.com, uh, to drive most of my, my content today. But here we are mid-afternoon, 39 in Portland. We've been up to 40. 46 in Salem. Boy, that's warmer than I was expecting. And 41 degrees in Portland. Winds are from the east-southeast. And I thought the east wind might play a bigger factor in getting us cooler uh, this morning. But again, this morning, like Sunday morning, we basically stayed 35, 36 degrees across much of the area this morning at low elevation. As you likely know by now, we just had wet roadways, unless you were up in elevation. And, and generally speaking, the morning showers were not an issue. It hasn't been that much colder out in the gorge today. and There's not that much of a pressure gradient. So even though there's an east wind, it hasn't really added any cold advection coming into the valley. Temperatures are a mixed bag. I mean, right now, uh, I'll just read some of these to you off of the map. 36 out in Beaverton, but 45 in Hillsboro, 39 in Wilsonville, 42 in Oregon City. So it kind of depends on where you are. We have showers moving across the area that, that uh, are certainly rain cooling areas. Again, there's Troutdale, 39, light rain right now, but you get out to Hillsboro, it's much warmer. It's 45. Okay. So I had to take my, uh, my dog for a, a, a typical uh, checkup to the vet hospital or practice this afternoon. And I heard people talking about snow chances. And one person said, oh, it's supposed to snow all night tonight in Camas. When's it going to start to snow? Oh, it's going to snow tonight. And it could be snowing much of the night. I, I, don't, I think they're referring to uh, just the Vancouver area. But here's the deal. You know, we had the beautiful dry Saturday, and then we opened up the chance for snow showers if temperatures got down to freezing Sunday, uh, Saturday overnight into Sunday morning. Didn't happen. Same thing Sunday overnight into this morning. There would be showers. We weren't sure if temperatures would freeze, but if they did, we'd have some freezing spots and that could accumulate snow. Well, the last chance of this before we go into a dry Wednesday is again tonight into tomorrow morning. And again tonight, Slow, snow level near 500 feet on average. It's been higher during the day at times, but lower at times during the night. Low elevation temperature range. That's Salem. That's Portland. That's Vancouver. Anywhere from maybe we get down to freezing. It's 30 degrees. And we have icy roads and some sticking snow and some issues. Or we could do this. We could do what we've done the last couple of nights. Let's be closer to 36 with absolutely no problems with a mix of scattered rain and snow showers in the air. Obviously, if we get freezing spots, those spots could have sticking snow with showers passing. And there's enough moisture that if anybody would get down to freezing and sit there for a few hours, there could be one to two inches in localized areas tonight. Of course, if we stay above freezing, it's going to be like we've seen the last couple of mornings, just wet and ice free. And unfortunately, as a forecaster, if I had to say anything, if you had to say you have to pick a side or a temperature and stay with it, if I had to pick, I would pick 35-36. I think that's the most likely scenario tonight that once again, low spots stay above freezing. We have a mix of rain and snow passing, and we have very little issues and, unless you're up in elevation. Now, with that said, I can't stand here and guarantee that we're not going to get down to 30 or 32. So that's why we keep throwing this out there as a possibility. I, like you, will simply have to wait around and check conditions in the morning and see what, what's going on. Okay. Sometimes that's uh that's simply the way it is. I want to read you what I wrote with this. Uh, this is on my Portland Weather Facebook page, by the way. And I said, the general snow level continues to hold around 500 feet Tuesday. Higher times during the day, lower at night, but should rise to 1,500 feet during the day Thursday, which is when our next weather front comes in. Here's what's interesting. The overall weather pattern looks crazy cold the first two weeks of March. I, I just did some outlook work yesterday. In fact, most days, the first two weeks of March all the way to the 15th, show snow levels of 2,000 feet or lower. I mean, that would be cold for January. That would be cold for December. And here we are going into March. So again, give or take snow levels tomorrow about 500 feet. Wednesday still looks dry. Thursday starts off low, but I think we'll be in the mid-30s Thursday at low elevations with rain picking up. During the day, the front comes in, snow levels shoot up to 1,500 feet. But then behind the front, we go back down to, to – uh, 500 feet Friday morning. So Friday morning is another morning where are we going to be freezing or are we going to be 35 or 36? And there's no way to pinpoint that. Even though, like, I believe the odds favor us being in the mid-30s, I have to again tell you, well, some things could happen that would drive the temperature down, and we would have in localized areas some icy problems. So that's Friday morning we'll watch. 
And then during the day Friday, snow levels go right back up to about 1,500 feet. Okay, let's talk about the shower pattern coming in tonight. Forecast models continue to put out, you know, 24 hour periods of about a quarter of an inch of total precipitation or more. So again, if we were cold for several hours, that's enough to rack up one, two, three inches of snow, right? Here's, see the spinning on this satellite picture? That's a low offshore. The low is gonna weaken, but it is going to move right smack dab on top of our heads overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Now that's gonna bring instability. In fact, earlier today, we did have at least one lightning detection strike I saw uh, somewhere around the North Coast around Lincoln City. Here's the, the way we look on, on the weather map right now. See all the speckled clouds? That's cold cumulus cloud activity. So the low comes in, we have showers, Overnight, much like we've seen during the day today, the winds actually go more to the southwest, which would make it even that much tougher to get down to freezing. So again, odds favor us staying above freezing tonight, but we'll have to check conditions in tomorrow morning to make sure. We have scattered showers that continue during the day. And because we're going to be unstable, that opens the door for snow mixing with rain, opens the door for grapple. That's a little ice pellet where rain comes down and kind of mixes with the snowflake. Then you get a little ice pellet. Opens the door for just straight up hail because it wouldn't take much convection to bounce water droplets up into the freezing level. And then that's ice chunks and we call that hail as a fall. So that's all still a possibility with these low snow levels and the scattered shower pattern that will be in fact continuing during the day Tuesday. Then we go dry. Let's talk a little bit more about roads and conditions. So they had a little bit more snow last night out in the gorge. It's been colder out there. Temperatures have been in the 30s to about 40, and not a lot colder. But at night, they've been slipping into the 20s. Hood River was 28 this morning, I think it was, or 27. You'll be about the same tonight. So if you're out in the gorge, there's a decent chance you get some more snow. I had a report that Corbett um, the other night picked up four inches of snow, for example, at elevation about 1,200 feet. So that continues to be possible. There's a beautiful, well, it's so pretty. That's my Elk Ridge golf course camera out in, on the Carson side, the Washington side of the uh, gorge looking back at the snow and the hills in Oregon. It's really pretty. But a reminder, a reminder simply that we will have the ongoing threat to get some snow uh, in the gorge tonight. And I-84 was kind of dicey looking this morning, but then improved during the day. I expect that again for your travel plans overnight tonight into tomorrow morning out into the gorge. The Sunset Highway early this morning was completely snow covered. But look at them. They've warmed up to 39 degrees. They've had enough dry activity that's melted off the highway. Now, the Coast Range absolutely will get more snow tonight. Could be three, four. Worst case scenario will be six, probably more like three to four inches. But I expect many of the Coast Range highways, even down to 500 feet, to be snow covered in the morning. So if you want to avoid that and delay your trip uh, more like midday or so, and you'll find improving conditions over the Coast Range highways tomorrow morning. Okay. Obviously, Cascade Passes continue to be snow covered. The forecast, they've picked up, um, I think it's 14, 15 inches of snow up there between Timberline and Meadows on average over the last 24 hours. The snowpack, I wrote this down. The snowpack, which remember at the end of January was down to 76% of normal, is now up to 88% of normal. Where they measure the depth at 5,400 feet off of Timberline Road, they're back to having 121 inches on the ground. So the snowpack looks really healthy right now, 88% of normal. And uh, with a cold first half of March, you would think we're likely going to get that snowpack up back into the 90 plus percent range. So that's good news. Okay. Portland seven day. We were in the mid thirties this morning. We've been up in the low forties so far today. I'm going to leave 32 probably on the seven day forecast because I want that to catch your attention Has a possibility to get up in the morning and check for icy roadways and maybe some snow showers sticking in localized areas. Otherwise, odds favor us just being wet again tonight and tomorrow morning. So just something to check before you go. Otherwise, it's a wintry mix of showers tomorrow, just like today. 43, chilly day. Wednesday's dry. 28 in the morning, if we have showers well into Tuesday evening, which we may, the roads could freeze with them still being wet. We'd have icy spots Wednesday morning, although it would be dry. 42 in the afternoon. Thursday, 33. I think I haven't. Re I just did a new forecast. I'm going to raise that low to 35 on Thursday. So pretty good confidence. A low, low elevation. That's rain. We warm up to 44 with the rainy day. Forecast models give us about a quarter of an inch of rain Thursday. Um, snow levels of 1,500 feet. That's more four to eight inches of snow up in the Cascades. And then Friday, mainly dry. There's a shower chance, but but mainly dry conditions. Let me see if I can close that window. And then Saturday, we have another weather system. This is rain developing. 
Saturday snow level, again, about 1,500 feet. And then behind the front, Sunday is rain showers. Now, Sunday morning, the snow level could be back down low enough that we're talking at least the chance that temperatures get down to 32. But right now, I think 35 is the best bet. So, okay, I've talked for 10 minutes. I, I hope what you generally got out of all of this was we've stayed above freezing at the low elevations the last two nights. Lows have been 34, 35, 36. That's most likely going to happen again tonight but I can't guarantee it. So please understand you need to check conditions in the morning before you head out. Uh, check conditions if you're going to be out late overnight tonight because there certainly could be some freezing spots with icy roads and snow accumulations. We still look forward to a dry Wednesday. And with that said, I will thank you for using this site. I thank you for subscribing and tell your friends. My site's growing and I'm excited about that. I'll uh, talk to you soon.